Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants Franchise. I'm not going to play the 2 12-1 Denver Broncos. We're just going to simulate the end of this one. And we're advancing to the playoffs. And we'll go over all the stats and things like that. Yearly awards in the next one and the playoff picture. We finished 12-4. and four. I mean, were we 12-3? and three? Did we lose to the... Wait. No, we beat them. All right, cool. 42-36. That's what I'm talking about. I couldn't remember if we had 11 or 12 wins, though. And um, I guess the title for this video is Kyle Lillette has three skill points. That's what I'm talking about. We'll check out all the awards in the next one. Um, but the title for this video will be that there are two new members of the 99 club. Because if you check in the defense side of the ball, by the way, 99 offense, 99 defense, obviously it's with confidence, but still, we're going to count it. Alex Espinoza is going to go up to a 99 overall. Welcome to the 99 club, Alex Espinoza, which means that now we have to go into his edit player. And give him the 99 gloves and cleats. 99 club cleats and gloves, of course, for Alex Espinoza. That's going to look sick. And Roman Pugh is the other one. Go to Power Rusher, and he gets 99 overall. He hasn't worn gloves this entire series, but guess what? When you get to 99 overall, it's the privilege it's a right that you now have access to. 99 Club, Vapor Jet 5 on the hands, and of course, the Nike. Well, actually, yeah, let's do the Force Savage Elite. I think that's the only option. Yeah, I mean, they look pretty solid. For other positions, obviously, for like Saquon, we don't have the... I, it would make more sense with Saquon than a guy like Odell. But uh, for Saquon, we do not have the Force Savage. We have the Alpha Menace. Same thing for Odell. But yeah, 99, 99, and on defense, 99, 99. Morris Dubose is close. Derwin James is closer. He's just not quite there. He's so close. He'll get it in this series, or in this season, I should say. We are back to the playoffs. The Packers are on the schedule as we have a 430 game at MetLife Stadium. They went 8-8, eight and eight, and they are 91 overall. I said in this episode we would take a look at the season stats and all that. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Also, Pone Gardner, back from injury. He will be starting a right guard. And let's go ahead and check out the stats, awards, things along those lines. As Kyle Loletta, third in the NFL in passing yards, first in touchdowns. Saquon was also incredible. Let's hop in. Let's check out the stats. 4,500 yards, 38 touchdowns, 19 picks is kind of a lot. That's all right. Patrick Mahomes played a little bit. Kyle Loletta overall was very good. I know he's not exactly a fan favorite of a lot of guys. There's, like, a war in the comments of, like, Kyle Loletta, truthers versus people that hate him. And then rushing Saquon, about 1,500 yards, 11 touchdowns, averaged 91 yards per game. We passed the ball a lot more this season, I think, because just off attempts, I mean, I guess, I guess we gave him the ball more. In 2019, we gave him 377 carries. Jesus. We ran him into the ground in season two. And he broke the record for rushing yards in a season. So, all right. Receiving Odell Beckham Jr. Only 66 catches, but oh my goodness. 1,400, almost 1,500 yards, 17 touchdowns. Keenan Allen, who it felt like we never got the ball to. 57 catches, 900 yards, 10 touchdowns. He has 10 touchdowns. When did he get these? I have no idea. Six touchdowns for Evan Ingram, 820 yards for him. Saquon was really effective out of the backfield. Sterling Shepard was pretty good as well when we actually gave him the ball. Trent Brown was an abomination at left tackle. He was terrible. I hated every minute of having him play left tackle as Alex Espinosa still led our team in tackles despite being injured and missing a lot of uh, the later half of the season. 15 tackles for loss led the team. Again, with missing the latter half of the season, missing, or, you know, and still dominating the way he did is incredible bunch of tackles for loss for everybody on the team that was a big 
A uh, strong part of our defense was shutting down the run. 12 sacks for Roman Pugh, 10 and a half for Cam Jordan, who was a big pick, a big pickup. Lawrence Thomas, Dalvin Tomlinson, good on interior pressure. And then interceptions, six for B.J. Goodson, six for Alex Espinosa. Morris DuBose with three, Sidney Jones three. Julius Manning got two. The rookie Kent Raymond got two. And those were very early on, if I recall. Espinosa, of course, led our team in forced fumbles. Safeties, he had one. Goodson had one. Tomlinson had one. And then defensive touchdowns. Alex Espinosa had two. He was a beast in this series. One for B.J. Goodson, one for Lorenzo Carter, Morris Dubose, and Raekwon McMillan all had one. And then awards as we had the fourth-ranked offense, and I assume the first defense. I assume, yep, first defense. So that is really encouraging to see as Ezekiel Elliott wins the MVP. Kyle Oletta at number eight. How do you have such a good season? Great stats, great record, and he's finishing at number eight. That's terrible. But NFC Offense Player of the Year does also go to Ezekiel Elliott. Saquon at number six. No Laletta. Defensive Player of the Year goes to Anthony Barr. Espinoza at six with missing so many games. That's crazy. B.J. Goodson at 10 as Aaron Cottom wins Offensive Rookie of the Year for the Vikings. No Giants in their Defensive Rookie of the Year. Sheldon Ellington. Kent Raymond at number six. Some updates, though. Kyle Laletta is now up to an 85 overall, and you got to wonder... How did he go from like a 78 to an 85? Well, he went from a 78 to an 83. I think the CPU auto upgraded him. He has superstar development now, and I'll tell you how. In progression history, he won the quarterback of the year, got superstar development, made his second Pro Bowl, got a ton of XP, and now he's an 85 overall. It's as easy as that. These are the new overalls. Odell, 99. Keenan Allen, 96. Offensive line, Will Hernandez is now up to a 92 overall with confidence. I feel like that kind of came out of nowhere, but he made his third Pro Bowl, so you got to love that. Ram check up to a 95, but he was already kind of in the neighborhood, so another Pro Bowl just gave him a small amount of XP. Logan Robeson up to an 84. Confidence is sky high for this Giants team. Robeson made the Pro Bowl. Evan Ingram is up to a 90 overall. He played pretty well, I assume, a Pro Bowl. No, he just got quick development. Not that it matters. Defensively, Hassan Reddick at a 79. Espinoza is up to a 99. Does he have the uh, proper equipment for that? He does. The gloves. BJ Goodson, 88. Landon Collins, 97. Derwin James is knocking on the door of a 99 overall, and he's just not there. He almost is. Morris DuBose at a 95 with confidence. Jalen Mills has an upgrade point, so I guess we will spend that. He's one of a... Uh, a very small amount of players that actually have an upgrade point right now as we just spent it. I think I auto-progressed by accident. I must have because no one has a skill point. But we do have the Packers returning from injury is Pone Gardner. I mentioned that. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Divisional round of the playoffs. We're a 96 overall to their 91. They're not messing around, but neither are we. Let's come out here get the win. All right, Packers, Giants. We have home field advantage. Both have four Super Bowls to our name, and it's going to be snowing. Gotta love it. This is playoff football. Fireworks still going off. No sleeves from anybody. It's irresponsible. Even Kyle Lalletta. Maybe he's earning some toughness points with the comments. Who's to say? Let's come out here. Get this win. Let's get it. Kyle Lalletta. And this New York Giants team is ready to go. Odell and Saquon have sleeves. All right. Winner faces the winner of Atlanta and Los Angeles in the NFC Championship. We're making that conference championship game. Let's go, baby. We're going to kick off to get these festivities underway. The wind is really rocking here today. 11 miles per hour in some direction. And, of course, as a subpar, and I'll admit it, subpar field goal kicker, I might have some trouble today. Not Aldrich Rosas. We're not even going to play the third person narrative of, of him kicking the field goals. I will have some trouble. There's no way I don't miss a field goal today with this wind. Oh, it's play action. That's going to be open. Sidney Jones wraps up at Randall Cobb as the first down. Aaron Rodgers might be a problem today. Might look to uh, open up the easy reads books. Take away Aaron Rodgers' ability with some of the user. We're going to man up. User Randall Cobb. Franklin is in motion. 
And that was at the ground nearly at me. A little bit further, I would have been able to make a play on that one. It is third and eight, and we're sending some heat. Cornerbacks, get down. I'm telling you to get down. Thank you. And that is short. If you played further down like I asked, maybe you would have stopped that from happening. First down to Devontae Adams. We're shutting that down. It's play action. Over the middle. Complete to Randall Cobb. Sidney Jones can't jar the ball loose. And we have no answer for this attack right now. To run. Oh my goodness. He's going to get to the outside. Graves is our grave digger. We managed to wrap him up. Hand off. Cam Jordan shuts it down. And Graves dug his own grave that time. How many times can I use that pun? Fourth and three. Green Bay going to settle for a field goal. Of course, the wind is really going today, though. This is not going to be easy. From the left hash from the 32. And that kick is wide right. No good. Ooh. The Rams beat the Falcons. If we win this game, we'll have the Rams next week. Saw that pop up. Is Saquon going to make a juke move? And his forward progress was stopped. Second and seven. Here's a handoff. Looking to burst through the hole. And wow. Way to wrap up the spin move. Kevin King just made a really nice play. Wayne Gallman in the game now. Interesting. We're actually going to go to him. Laletta. Making like the Kyle Laletta that everyone in the chat or comment section believes he is. He misses that throw. But you guys know, it's only to bring up my best ability. The best punter on YouTube, Kendall Newfeld. And what a punt. Pinned him at the six. Where do you find this type of gameplay anywhere else on YouTube? Look at that amazing ability. Let's actually pressure him heavy here. Try to force his safety. Uh, okay. That's no good. Randall Cobb broke that tackle. Uh, that's going to be a touchdown. I think I accidentally ran commit. This is what that looks like. I definitely accidentally ran commit. Nobody played it like they were playing in coverage. So that's an unfortunate mistake to say the least. As it costs us seven points and eventually uh, maybe a loss. Hope not. Give me a block. There we go, Saquon. Good block by Odell. Let's juke back. He breaks a tackle. Stays in bounds. Saquon's still going. The spin back upfield. Down at the 25. Big run from number 26, Saquon Barkley. Second and 10. Laletta to Beckham. Incomplete. Kind of a rough start today passing the football. I swear we call this place so often on third and 10. And every single time I have slanted Keenan Allen, I throw it quick because it's open. And I'm always a yard or two short. This time, I do exactly what I said I was going to do. But we actually get the first down. Saquon Barkley, space. The spin back. We picked up a few. Carlos Kershaw up the middle. Power through him, Carlos. The people have been telling me to... To bench you for Wayne Gallman. Don't make me. I will. Third and five. Let's get in the end zone here. Rolling out. Throwing. Incomplete. Tried to roll out. And of course they had the edge sealed off perfectly. And we will settle for a field goal try. And that one is... Good. 7-3. All right. A little bit close on that one. But you know what? It counts. Lawrence Thomas. Nice play. Great tackle for loss on low. Is everyone accounted for here? Yes. We are blitzing. We need guys to come up and perform in man coverage. Morris DuBose. Oh, my God. Overran it. Sometimes 99 speed is a bad thing. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, 6 for 7 for 166. Obviously, a 94-yard touchdown pass kind of inflates those numbers, but he has been good. Get there, Espinoza. Why don't you throw at me, you idiot? User pick, easy reads. 
One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. All I can remember are the same four Dr. Seuss books, but it's all right. Because Aaron Rodgers tested the user and he paid the price. We need to get a completion with Kyle Loletta just to get back in it. Perfect. Right to Odell. You know what? Sometimes maybe all it's about is that confidence to make that close throw, make that tight throw through a small window. And when you hit it, the reward is just that much better as we find Sterling Shepard for a touchdown. And we're going to take the lead here. Had Green Bay converted on their first field goal attempt, it might be a tie game right now. They didn't. And we got the lead. Oh, my God. I, okay, we really got to overcompensate here. <laughs> I almost missed two. There we go. Good pressure. Cam Jordan got inside, and then Roman Pugh came firing, screaming off the edge. I got I love this salute. I think partly because it's my outro, it's a great sack celebration. I mean, why not? But, uh, I mean, it makes sense. Oh, Julius Manning doesn't wrap up for once. I went for the hit stick, and Randall Cobb broke the tackle, pushed him right into Sidney Jones, who wrapped him up easy. Randall Cobb has four receptions for 126 and a touchdown. And I am setting pressure here. I trust the secondary. I trust the defensive backs. Heavy. Sidney Jones, you cannot get beat by a tight end. Like, Ainge... It's not even a real guy. All right, I talked about sometimes 99 speed isn't a good thing. This is one of the situations where it's a great thing. Pretty good return. I tried to do a lot with that. Picked up 18, which is uh, really good. Well, it's good. It's a good average to have. You guys have seen me utilize the speed of Evan Ingram on this exact play across the course of this series. Nick Perry came screaming on what looked to be a looping blitz. And, yep. Could not get rid of the ball. I mean, it's third and 21. We might just have to throw it up here. That is actually open, and it's not even close. Clinton Dix with the interception. Can we tackle him? It's not funny to me. Ha uh ha. -huh. It isn't. I thought we had that over his head. And weird, weird animation. Interception. Ball was not where it's supposed to be. Graves. Oh my god. He's fighting forward. He got the first down and more. Picked up 10. His best run of the day. Showcasing the power on that one. Collins, chase it down. Good tackle to force him back inside. Julius Manning wrapped it up. That, yeah, good way to uh, force it back inside with Landon Collins. All right, Patrick Wright in the game. Don't see that too often. But he's got an interior pressure. Pressure coming in from both sides. Cameron Jordan picks up another sack to his resume. That one's a full one. Roman Pugh was getting close as well. And I love when the pressure comes in. Finally. And of course, we're turning up the heat. We don't slow down. We're like sharks. When we sense blood in the water, we go after it. Rodgers has time. He throws. End zone. Touchdown. Wow. Roman Pugh is back there in coverage. And we had a, a deep third. Didn't play it. Great pass. Great anticipation from Aaron Rodgers knowing that I wasn't going to follow over with Alex Espinoza that he could get it over the head of Roman Pugh. And they're going to retake the lead. We got a two-minute drill with Kyle Oletta and the New York Giants team. Let's be careful with the football. Let's score. Let's go into the half with the lead. And we get the ball. So. There we go, Keenan. There we go, Keenan Allen. Let's move up into the hurry up. We don't need to. 
But I don't think it would hurt us. Oh my god, Kyle! Come on, man! These are easy throws. Odell's open. Laletta! Misses him. How it's snowing, man. It's like I it's not it's not coming down that hard. These are makeable throws. These are e makeable throws. Rolling out. Laletta on the run. On the money. Sterling Shepard inside the 10. Maybe that's the only receiver you can throw to today. Because the rest of the passes haven't been there. Slant. Sterling Shepard. Just snags it. He's down at the 1. Touchdown. Evan Ingram. Blake Martinez had his back turned. We're going to throw right at him. He had no idea. Touchdown. We scored pretty quick. It's a halfback delay. It's a big delay and a big tackle. Dalvin Tomlinson from his back. I don't know how he made that tackle. Third and four, 33, uh, 33 seconds left in the half. And that's an interception. Easy reads. The cat in the hat. It's Alex Espinosa's second interception of the game. We were in man coverage. We played underneath, and we played the route perfectly. Look at the anticipation. The playmaking ability of, yes, the best linebacker in football. Are we going to score again before half and get the football back? What do you mean? You don't make... Who makes that play? Nobody. What do you... What is that? I hate all Madden with a passion. I can't hit any of my throws. When I have an open receiver, Superman comes out of nowhere. Like he just did. We're going to make that throw. Howard Russell! Catch it! Touchdown! What a play! We threw the jump ball. It got batted up into the air. Get the bow tie ready. You're going to the ESPYs. Super Bowl winner. Play of the year. It's happening. Of course, this isn't the Super Bowl, but you guys know how the Super Bowl teams, they go to the ESPYs and they're all there and they talk about it, they make jokes with I've missed the extra point off the bar. I overcompensated. Anyway, what a ridiculous catch. We're up 23-14. Would have been nice to be up by 10. I guess I'll take the nine-point lead. Big play from Espinoza. Big play from Howard Russell. Green Bay should just take a knee here. And that will be the end of the first half. A lot of big plays here. Thank you, Alex Espinoza, for single-handedly, honestly, giving us this big lead. Well, it's nine points, but a lot of them are courtesy of him. As we're going to start the second half here in the divisional. Back at MetLife Stadium, Howard Russell still making big plays. going to return this one to the 26. We both have exactly... 221 total yards of offense so far. Yeah, you want to block that? Maybe? I'm not trying to lose four yards on my, the first touch of the half. We're looking at third and long. We'll see if we convert. I'm not going to force anything. I'm going to run. Kyle, go, 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 dive. First down, baby. White lightning. Kyle Laletta, Vanilla Vic, scrambling for the first down, getting it. Odell's open. That's a great pass to him. He's going to break a tackle, continue up on the sideline. Odell Beckham Jr. As Kyle Laletta's finding it here, finally getting it going. Really, really rough first half. Started getting it together there at the end. And now, his numbers don't look half bad. So we're going to give Wayne Gallman a handoff. I like the... Look at the defense. He's got some space. Yeah, I don't see Carlos Kershaw do that very often. That's a good point. Oh, my God. Saquon Barkley broke that. How is he still going? I'm trying to weave and find the space. Cut up through it. That was wild. That's open. Oh, no. Beckham Jr. holds on. Touchdown. That was almost a crazy play by Josh Jackson. 
but not quite. And we're going for two. I don't even know where to go with the football here. Yeah, I mean, just Keenan Allen started to get some space. Couldn't really find anybody there. Should have lobbed it up. But unfortunately, I could not. Pressure got in. It's a handoff. Get there. Derwin James. Oh, my goodness. What a great back juke. I'm trying to end it. A hit stick fumble. That might end it. Get there. Good play, Derwin James. That's pass is going to fall incomplete. Almost got to Aaron Rodgers. Third and nine. Aaron Rodgers set up on a nice third and long here. And he's going to find his man, Devontae Adams. I'm trying to rip the football out. Alex Espinosa makes the tackle. And, I mean, Aaron Rodgers just destroyed the cover, too. Found the uh, very easy throw, according to him. I mean, that was, I think, a pretty good defense. Get there. Somebody get pressure. He is all day. He's lobbing it up, and it's intercepted by Sidney Jones. We're going to return this. Probably shouldn't have. I got really excited, though. <laughs> Backed up in our own end zone here. We have Saquon Barkley. It's not really an issue. Showcase that power, and now that speed trying to work up the sideline. Got that tiptoe animation, and, of course, losing a lot of speed doing that. Did we get caught? Go, Saquon. Juke back inside. Oh, I don't know what that was. Saquon is now officially at 100 yards on the day, though. Here's Carlos Kershaw. Time to prove the doubters wrong. Not great blocking. You really can't fault that one. Just give me blocking here and play action. We're going to lob that one up. On the sideline, Shepard drags the feet. What a throw from Kyle Lalletta. That one was right on the money. Unbelievable. Green Bay got a challenge. I'm going to tell you, Green Bay, it's not a great challenge. Ruling on the field is upheld. It stands. More space with Saquon. They are giving us these outside runs very, very easily. We're not struggling at all to make it work. We're just calling these stretch plays, calling these powers, even these inside zones, which I know is an inside run, but we've been working it to the outside, which is the Saquon Barkley style of running the football. It's working out pretty well. And he gets ankle tackled by Jake Ryan. Give me a break. Laletta in the game. We are, excuse me, Wayne Gallman. Obviously, Laletta. We're going to hand the ball off to him. Spin back. Oh, if he would have broken that tackle. Tried to go for the home run, and instead, uh, we end up with a loss. It was the home run there, or a loss of yards, and unfortunately, it just didn't work out that time. Play action. That's not the pass I wanted! Intercepted. Oh, no! I wanted the cross. I, uh, saw the button coming across, and... I, I didn't press the wrong one. I got them confused. Because I had the cross, man. Big hit from Espinoza. Wanted that pick. Get pressure. Get after him. He has all the time in the world to deliver a strike to Randall Cobb, who's been giving us trouble all day. Six catches for 164 and two touchdowns. It's the fourth quarter, though. Nine minutes remain. And we'll see if Aaron Rodgers has any comeback sauce. Roman Pugh says no. He picks up a sack as well. Gets a full one on top of the half sack he had earlier. Just a little bit later than, uh, than uh, his good buddy, uh, Cameron Jordan. Couldn't place his name. As there's another Espinoza on the field right now. Aaron Rodgers going after me. And I'm I'm burnt by Franklin. <sighs> Touchdown. Yeah, this, this game's not over. Jesus, man. I would have gone for two right now. I wouldn't have waited. It's an eight-point game. And that is, thankfully, to... Uh, me missing my extra point. 
That interception really hurts. It really, really does. Because now it's a one-score game instead of a two-score game. Still working the stretch with Saquon. Just stop tackling me from behind, please. Just let me, let me break one. We're going to run the ball here, I think. Just take time off the clock. And, of course, Saquon has the ability to turn this into a first down. As he breaks a tackle, spins back, breaks some more, first down. That's why we run the football. Because Saquon can make it a first down. It's not giving up. It's keeping the clock running. And that is uh, very important. I like the call. Carlos Kershaw in the game. Go, Kershaw. Yeah, he's just not that good, is he? He's just not that good. Third and eight. We're going to pass the ball now. Where do we go with it? I don't I don't really know what my first read is going to be on this. Let's hope something gets open. It's going to be Saquon. He falls down. This game hates me. He falls down as I'm throwing it to him. But you guys know, you, I bet you missed the punt. Check it out. Best punter on YouTube. Watch this. Oh, no. No. Hate it. You hate to see it. Oh, unlucky. Rodgers rolling out, throwing on the run. We're just going to wrap up. They have more than enough time to score. Defense has got to clutch up here. And they're still gonna need they're still gonna need a two point conversion if they even do manage to score a touchdown. So even if they do score, it's not the end of the world. We're just gonna try and do our best to stop that from happening, though. Obviously, it's going over the middle. Let's play action. Get after him. Switch on. Intercepted. Alex Espinosa. No, he's right over his head, and it's a touchdown to Randall Cobb. I need, I need to go into replay mode for this bad boy because I have no idea what happened. 66-yard touchdown, and guess who? Randall Cobb. Jesus. So I'm playing inside here with Lawrence Thomas trying to get pressure. I switch on to Cameron Jordan. It switches me on when I change. I changed right here, right? Gives me Morris Dubose. Look at these two. Look at B.J. Goodson and Alex Espinoza. Watch. He, he leans out of the way. What is that? Oh my, what is, what could the plan possibly have been in Alex Espinosa's head? Oh shoot, I don't want to interfere with a great play in, in playoff history. Jesus. I'm going to use a Raekwon McMillan here. Need pressure. We'll play over the middle. It's a pass. And it's a sack. Hassan Reddick got to him. Still got a two-point lead, and they're going to kick it deep. Three minutes, two timeouts. I mean, it's understandable. That is if you can stop the run game with Saquon Barkley, which you can't. Here we go, Saquon. Look at that spin back. There we go, baby. Nine yards already. They're not going to be able to stop Saquon Barkley. They're going to hope that he gets tired, that Carlos Kershaw or Wayne Gallman comes in the game. That'll be their best bet. Our offensive line is so good. Better than their defensive line. And guess what? Our running backs, better than anyone you have. We are a better team. You cannot stop Saquon Barkley in these situations. It's just not possible. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? The plant, cut out, spin back in. Beautiful. I mean, that's, that's what it's all about right there. There's a flag. Is this one going to come back? It's illegal block in the back. So, yeah, it is coming back. It's going to be second and four. That's not bad. I should redo it down, basically, from the spot of the foul. That's not bad at all. Third and three. Saquon in the game. I, I don't think they can stop him, man. There's another flag. What is happening? It's going to be a hold. Logan Robus in the center makes it third and 13. The game is screwing me over. Well, I'm going to run the ball. Oh, damn it, man. A field goal is going to beat me and win the game. 
Oh, no. What do I want to do here? I, we're going to run the ball. And they, see, they shut us down. I knew something like... It's bull! It's what it is. It's BS. Thank God. I would be real mad if I wasn't the best punter on YouTube, let me tell you. We're going to pin him deep. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Best punter on YouTube for a reason. That's, I have that nickname for a reason. Everyone knows it. It's not just me saying it. You look in the comments. It'll be filled with... Bangle, you really are the best punter on YouTube. It's a fact. Check this out. Oh my god. It's a beauty. That's a bit. Pinned him on the 10. That's, that's a great punt right there. That's a great punt. Now, here's a question. This is a weird cover three, by the way. This is a weird cover three. Um, how do we play this? What do we give them? Do we let them go underneath? I think so, because the clock's going to keep ticking. They pick up two yards on that one. I think it's unrealistic to expect that they're going to keep doing that. We're going to use our Sydney Jones here at safety. They're going to spike the ball? I don't know if I agree with that, given the circumstance. I guess you want to draw up a new play. But you're going to be in a tough spot right now because it's third and eight. We're going to back off and we'll give you that space. You can have it. 41 seconds to play. Do not get beat deep. That's fine. They get out of bounds, but it's going to be fourth and short. Fourth and two, fourth and three, fourth and two. 37 seconds to play. I'm going to send a blitz. It's, it's cover three blitz though, so it's fine. Wait, what happened? Hold on. We'll just stick to cover three then. We'll get back, 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 defense. They run the ball? Okay. That shocks me. They're going to spike it quickly. They're going to have, what, 25 seconds maybe? 25 seconds, no timeouts. They still have to go about 80 yards. Yeah. It's game over. We know it. Bengus Khan knows it. Here's that cover three blitz. Yeah, yeah. Let's get on Espinosa, please. Let's bump at the line. It's not a bump. That's wide open. It's going to be Ainge. Okay. Now. The center's glitched. He can't get there. He just, he just morphed through Aaron Rodgers. Six seconds. Oh, how do we play this? Looks like they're gonna they've took they've taken too much time off the clock. They took too long to do it. They're gonna have to go deep. Yeah, I would try a play to the outside, probably. But they are gonna go deep. They lob it up, and it is incomplete. The CPU has no idea how to do Hail Marys. Aaron Rodgers is gonna have to work down the field. Or throw a 60-yard bomb. That's what it's going to take. A 60-yard bomb to the end zone. And did I mention, there's going to be pressure. Espinosa trying to loop. He lobs it up. And it is knocked down by Landon Collins. Incomplete. And we're going to walk out of here with the win. 29-27 in a very close game where the CPU tried to screw us on multiple occasions. Multiple occasions. We were nearly screwed out of a victory here. These are great screenshots, by the way. <laughs> but that play almost cost us the game. It really did. That was a fun one, though. Aaron Rodgers is annoying. Randall Cobb is impossible to stop. Eight catches for 236 and three touchdowns. I'll see you guys in the conference championship. We got the Los Angeles Rams. Take it easy. Okay.